Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3.0. We're on episode number two. Our first episode was a lot of fun, thanks to Connor's Ramster for joining us. It will not be the last time he joins us. He'll be back several times more. All right, if you like that idea of joining me on my server, please, please leave a comment down below when I ask only two things. One, that you have videos that I can see that you can make everything work, like, uh, you know, the video and the headphones and the mic and all that, and that you sound, you know, good enough to come on. It doesn't have to be perfect, just good enough. And then two, that you have a Skype account. Those two things are really important to me. And if you do, I will contact you and you can join me and you can, mod you know, hang out with me here on the server. All right, that's all there. Well, talking about the server, let's give a go ahead and give a plug for that. Cubehosting.com, look at the link down below. It's fairly important. Um, use my link because it does give me credit. For $10 a month, you could have your own server. You know, it's not huge. It's big enough just for you and a couple other people. $10 a month. And you can do any mod pack that you want. The service is great. They will help you out. And they will set you up. $10 a month for your own server. Cubehosting.com. Look down below. It's in my comments. And while you're looking down there, go ahead and give me that like and give me that subscribe. It is important. How <laughs> these googly guys are getting me. Uh, it is important that you like and subscribe, uh, especially young YouTubers like me and any of that might join me in the future. Uh, Connor's uh, Connor didn't have a web. He's not much into making videos. He was just here to have fun with me. So just make sure you go ahead and give me a like and go ahead and whoever is joining us, you give them a like. Just build a love here. As many likes as possible. It helps. Googly eyes. All right, today's episode. Yes, I think that's everything. Like, subscribe. Yep, yep, yep. And go ahead and yeah, like and subscribe. All right, while we're together, today we are going to do a dark room. That is part of the achievements that are coming up. Just go ahead and look at it real quick. Um, one of the achievements that we have coming up is a dark room, and we are going to go ahead and hit that a little bit earlier. And I'll explain why. Uh, make a dark room 25 blocks away from your base for spawning mods and obtaining loot. All right, why are we doing that now? Well, we need bone mill. And now we can get bone mill. We need it for a crucible because we're, we're going to make lava really, really, really soon because we need lava to make the cobblestone generator. And we need uh, bone mill to make the porcelain clay. And we need seven of these things. Now, we could go through and sieve it, and you have like a 1% chance going through dust. And, you know, that's a lot of what we'd have to do is do all this dirt. We have to make the dirt into cobblestone, make the cobblestone into dust. And that's a lot of work just for seven pieces of bone mill. So it's a lot easier. Just just go ahead and just make a dark room. So just go ahead and we'll take one of these things. We'll make it a little bit half. You say we need 25. And we'll go ahead and go out 25 spaces. And da, 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 and we'll make ourselves a dark room. Now, last episode I was kind of confounded because I kept getting these blocks that would go underneath. And someone made a comment, and thank you very much for that comment, that it's because if you make it at the very bottom of this block, I'll just go ahead and do it real quick. It will go ahead and it puts it down at the bottom. But if you're in the middle anywhere, it won't do that. So it's really at the bottom. It'll make a block down below. All right, one, two, okay. Remind me, I need to add another slab when we get to the back because we've got to do 25 because that's what the achievement book says. So we are going. Um, yeah, but we're just going to do a... This is a really, really simple dark room we're going to do is design. It's literally just going to be one deep and about you know, 13 wide. Um, it's just basically to get starting, get some of the mob drops and mainly the bones. And if we can get uh, some bags, and if we can get some, oh gosh, enderman pearl, ender pearls, that would just like be icing on the cake. All right, we're down to two, one, and let me go ahead and add one here. Now all this is gonna be this upper level, so mobs can spawn on this level. I'm gonna go ahead and hit F7 real quick, let's see if I can find it, seven. And go ahead and put some torches down. I'm hitting, sh when I'm right, I'll hit shit. And see if this close enough. One more. We'll put it right there. And pick that up. And put one more right here. Now all mobs can spawn in this. So we got to make sure we keep it lit up. And I'm going to make this dark area. I'm going to put it down one level. Thank you for teaching me how to do this. So we will go ahead and put it at the very bottom. Oh, of course it doesn't work the time I try it. Let's try it again. Let's 
could be at the very, very bottom. Ah, we'll try it one more time. And then I know another way of trying it. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it this way. So we've got to get the very edge. There we go. And we'll take a step down. Now I'm going to make a platform. This is now that we're at this lower level, nothing will spawn on this. And I'm going to make a platform 15 by 7. So we're going to go another 7 out this way. One. And as soon as I get this done, I'll come right back. All right, we have our platform all set. It is 15 wide, 7 deep. Let's go ahead and start making our spawning area for our mobs. Let's see, we're going to go one, two, we're going to put one here. We've got to back away a little bit. And this is going to be the outer wall. All right, so this is going to be the spawning platform right here. Let's go ahead and go down here and make one more. Let's see, one, two, right there. Now, this is actually where the mobs are going to spawn on, this one right here. And you can see it has the yellow. Again, yellow means that they can spawn on it during nighttime, and red means they can spawn on it at any time. All right, now I need to build the walls. Let's go ahead and stand up here. What we're going to do is, all right, that's going to be one high, right? Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Let's make sure I got this right. That's going to be one high. So we need three high all together. Two, three. And on top of this, we're actually going to put half slabs. I'll get to that in just a minute. So now I just need to walk around and, whoops, and put two. Uh, I'll put that other one. Well, I need to get in there now. All right, we'll go back this way. Need one, two. One, two. And I am just going to go around the whole thing, around that little center one with this. And then we're going to top it off with half slabs in just a few minutes. And I'm going to get rid of that in a few minutes. All right, let me go ahead and go all the way around, and I'll be right back. All right, we've gone all the way around with the uh, two high. It's actually three high, but the first one's, I'm not putting one there, because we'll, we'll see that. That's how we're going to attack the mobs. Now I'm going to cover this top F with half slabs. Uh, that way we don't have to light it up. And we no mobs should spawn up here. And let me get this done real quick. And then we'll go down below and we have some more half slabs we got to do down there. And we will be done with this thing. I'll be right back. Okay, we have three high. One, two, and then the, the bottom blank is three. So that's three high. I start to go, oh God, I didn't do it right. So that's three high. We still have yellow here because we don't have, haven't turned off all the light here. This is my building. We used that to get up there originally, if you remember. Let's go ahead and break these out. This is just placed here to help start up the ones above us. So we can go ahead and take these out. Now we're going to take the slabs and we're just going to go ahead and, and go around the bottom here. And let's go ahead and get that side. And as soon as we close this out, the yellow X's will turn red. That means they will spawn mobs at any time. And let's go ahead and go over here. There we go. We got red X's. We're all set and ready to go. Nothing will spawn in here as long as we're in this area. We have to be 23 blocks away at least, I believe it is. And anything like over 40 or something, I can't remember, they despawn. So you have to stay in a certain range. Um, let's see, is there something else? Oh, why didn't I make this too deep? Um, if you make this too deep, the mobs can see you. And I'll try to explain that when we get mobs in here. Um, they can see you and they might explode. It's already dangerous enough. Try not to stand on the ends because they see you. the creepers will come and the skeletons will shoot you. So try to stay on the ends. Don't try to stay next to it, but pretty close to it. And you should be safe because you won't be able to see them. They won't be able to see you. They'll just feel you attacking them. All right, let's go ahead and get 23 blocks away. We should get some mobs to start spawning in there. While they're doing that, let's go ahead and make ourselves a sword, a wooden sword. Um, yeah, I only have one piece of cobblestone. So makes myself a wood sword. There we go. And we should see some stuff start spawning. Um, it's hard to see at night. If it was daytime, you would be able to see through there. Let's go ahead and look here, see if there's any red dots. Red dots shows you when there is mobs that are spawning in the area. So we'll just wait just a minute. 
Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to cut, and when there's a few in there, we'll come right back, and we'll go over there, and we'll kill them, and we'll end today's episodes, and we'll talk about what's coming future. All right, be right back. All right, I'm hitting M on my map for my map to come up, and yes, we have some mobs out there, so, all right, what we need, we need at least, just see, three bones for we can get our porcelain start ma making, because each bone is worth three bone mill, and let's see, there's not many... There's two here. But the key, the whole reason we're building this is just for the bone mill. And now all the other stuff we get is going to be just great. All right, there's two. So this won't take me long to get my bone mill. Not compared to sieving all that dust and doing all the dirt. That's just, just too much. So next step, so we will start with our lava. We will get our stuff. Oh, and before I show you, before I go, I want to show you something else in case you're running out of food. Um... Let's go ahead and do this. Got half slabs. One, two, three. Sounds good. We're going to get three drying racks. One, two, three. And then we take our rotten flesh and put it up here and it becomes a big, I believe it's jerky, our flesh jerky or something. And it is edible. It is good. It doesn't make you sick once you get it up there. So that is all there is to it. We got some extra goodies here. We got some, we got two bones. We need one more. So I'll keep an eye on that. And that's what I'll do in between episodes. And then we'll come back and we'll get our porcelain going. And we will start our lava on the next episode. All right, my friends. It's been fun. It's been real. And it has been real fun. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And please, please, please check that like down below. All right, my friends. We'll see you in the next episode. Y'all have a great day. Bye, guys.